What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a video about why I don't play MMOs anymore. So I actually used to cover ESO quite a bit actually, but I've kind of stepped away from MMOs just across the board. I used to play a lot of WoW obviously, uh, Guild Wars 2, ESO, Neverwinter even. And while I will say I do still enjoy MMOs, I frankly just don't play any of them anymore. And that comes down to a few different reasons, but I'll start with the most practical one. On this channel, I tend to review things after 100%, and I like just going back and playing games and reviewing them and making content, and I like doing that for CRPGs especially, and that eats up most of my time. So that, combined with the fact that MMOs just require an enormous amount of time to be you know, up to date with current content, I simply just don't have the time to do both. At the end of the day, playing the single player stuff is what makes my money. So purely from a practical standpoint, that's a lot of the reason right there. Now, there are a few others. I will say that uh, when I was younger, like in high school, for instance, it was easier for me to play more socially focused games like an MMO. But as I've become an adult, I have more responsibilities outside of, you know, video games, like, for instance, working on YouTube, making videos every day, which again requires time, being a father and just real-world obligations. So those things combined with the fact that when I do get a little bit of time, I really don't want to spend it on an MMO where I'm simply never going to have enough time to put into it to do the things I would like to do, especially when doing those things requires me to often cooperate with groups of other people. And while MMOs do have things like group finders, etc. these days to kind of ease that burden, that tends to be pretty unreliable. And then there's probably the other large reason I don't really play them anymore, and that is I honestly just don't enjoy it anymore in a lot of ways. Now, that's not to say I don't like the MMOs, because a lot of them are doing unique, cool things, but I find that uh, the main reason I play games these days, as opposed to when I was a bit younger, is to get the story and kind of master a system. And MMOs are always changing, and they're always demanding more of your time. And as I grow older, I honestly like to just complete things and be done with them. And that's more of a philosophy philosophy change in my life that happened, and MMOs don't really have an end per se. So it got to this point for me where it just feels like I'm a hamster on a hamster wheel, and they just keep moving the goalposts and things, and that's fine. And honestly, that's kind of the point in an MMO in some ways. But given those things, and the fact that I'm just a bit of a completionist, makes all of those things pretty off-putting for me these days, to where I would rather 100% games like I've been doing, enjoy their stories, master their systems, and get to a point where I'm like, I'm done with this thing. At least by and large. You know, I might play it here and there occasionally in the future, but that would be about it. Whereas with MMOs, there, there is no end. And the older I get with, you know, more responsibilities and everything, like I mentioned, there's just other ways I'd like to spend my time than feeling like I'm not actually working towards any end goal. Like I mentioned, they just kind of make me feel like I'm on this hamster wheel that's never going to end because they're just going to keep moving the goalposts with their content and it's designed in such a way to make you keep running that proverbial hamster wheel. And then, of course, there's the fact that uh, storytelling in that kind of game tends to be subpar. Now, it is getting better in some regards. For instance, ESO actually does a pretty great job telling you a story, you know, as far as MMOs go. But I do find that single-player games, it's like things like CRPGs, are much better on the story front because they can explore choice and consequences much more, whereas in MMO, they can't really do the consequences part. They can present a choice in some regards, sure, but they can't really give you this huge branching narrative, and I personally find that the older I get, the more I enjoy the story parts of things as well, and the more competitive aspect that comes with MMOs appeals less and less to me. But there you go guys, kind of a video about just this random subject I decided to talk about, because I did actually used to make a bunch of uh, MMO related videos. Hope you enjoyed hearing me ramble about this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but regardless of any of it, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.